What if we could cure previously incurable diseases or tailor medical treatments specifically for your genetic makeup? This isn't science fiction. It's the reality of biotechnology in medicine today. In this video, we'll explore how biotechnology is transforming healthcare from genetic testing to personalized medicine. Biotechnology is a broad field that involves the use of living organisms, cells and biological systems to develop products and technologies intended to improve the quality of human life. By living organisms, we are referring to organisms such as fungi, yeast, all the way to plants. It merges biology with technology, applying the principles of both to a variety of fields. Today, biotechnology encompasses everything from gene therapy to stem cell research, playing a pivotal role in modern medicine, but let's break it down. Applications of biotechnology in medicine Firstly, we have genetic testing, which is a medical tool that involves the examination of an individual's DNA. It is used to identify changes in chromosomes, genes, or proteins that can lead to genetic disorders such as cancer, diabetes, heart diseases, and more. The results of genetic testing can confirm or rule out suspected genetic conditions or help determine a person's chance of developing or passing on a genetic disorder. Biotechnology plays a crucial role in enabling genetic testing as it provides the technique and tools required for analyzing and manipulating genes. Imagine your body's cells as a tiny factory and genes as the instruction manuals for these factories. Sometimes a page in one of these manuals has a typo. Think of this as a genetic mutation leading to the factory to malfunction and cause a disease. Gene therapy is like sending a molecular repairman into the factory with the correct copy of the page or a tool to fix the typo. This repairman is usually a harmless virus engineered to carry the correct genetic information into the cells. Once inside, it replaces or repairs the faulty gene, allowing the cell to function properly again, much like fixing the error in the instruction manual so the factory can go back to producing things correctly. Then we have pharmacogenomics, which is a field at the intersection of pharmacology, which is the science of drugs, and genomics, the study of genes and their functions. It focuses on how an individual's genetic makeup affects their response to medication. Essentially, pharmacogenomics aims to optimize drug therapy with respect to the patient's genotype to ensure maximum efficacy with minimal adverse effects. Here's a breakdown of its key aspects. Think of pharmacogenomics like a skilled bartender crafting a custom cocktail, specifically for you, based on your unique taste, preferences, and metabolism. In a typical bar, everyone gets the same standard drinks, much like traditional medicine where everyone receives the same standard medication and dosage. However, just as everyone has different tastes and reactions to various drink ingredients, in medicine, people respond differently to medications based on their genetic makeup. The bartender, in this case the healthcare provider, uses a special guide or genetic testing to understand your unique flavor profile and how your body metabolizes different ingredients or medication in this instance, this knowledge allows the bartender to mix a drink that preferably suits your taste and metabolizes efficiently by your body, maximizing enjoyment or effectiveness of the drug and minimizing the chance of a bad reaction or side effects in terms of medication. Then we move on to regenerative medicine, which is an innovative field in healthcare that aims to repair, replace, regenerate, or enhance the function of tissues, organs, or cells that have been damaged due to age, disease, or trauma. The key areas in regenerative medicine include stem cell therapy, tissue engineering, organ regeneration, and 3D bioprinting. Consider regenerative medicine as akin to a skilled gardener revitalizing a withered garden. In a typical garden, when plants wither or get damaged, you might prune the dead plants, add fertilizer 
or water more frequently. These are like traditional medicine treatments that manage symptoms or hold progression but don't necessarily bring the garden back to its full vitality. Regenerative medicine, however, is like having the ability to plant new seeds or introduce special nutrients that empower the existing plants to regenerate, grow more robustly and heal from within. It's not just about maintaining what's there, it's about restoring the garden to its original flourishing state. Then we have biopharmaceuticals also known as biologics, which are a class of pharmaceutical drugs that are produced using biotechnology. They are derived from living organisms such as microorganisms, plant cells, or animal cells, and are often more complex in structure than conventional pharmaceuticals. Unlike traditional drugs, that are more chemically synthesized. Biopharmaceuticals involve the use of biological sources. Imagine biopharmaceuticals as the gourmet chef of the medical world, in contrast to traditional pharmaceuticals, which are like fast food cooks. In this analogy, traditional pharmaceuticals are similar to fast food meals. They are mass produced using standardized recipes and ingredients, designed to be widely accepted and effective for a large number of people. However, they might not meet everyone's specific dietary needs and can sometimes cause adverse reactions, akin to food not suiting everyone's palate or health requirements. Biopharmaceuticals, on the other hand, are like dishes prepared by a gourmet chef. These chefs, scientists or biotechnologists, use a variety of high quality, often unique ingredients, biological substances, and advanced cooking techniques, which are biological processes to create meals or medication tailored to meet specific dietary requirements or preferences. Just like a gourmet chef can tailor a dish to an individual's unique taste and dietary needs, biopharmaceuticals are custom to target specific cells, proteins, or genes in the body providing a more precise and effective treatment with potentially fewer side effects. Now let's move on to how biotechnology is applied. Starting off with biotechnology in biopharmaceuticals. Biotechnology is employed to produce monochloral antibodies, which are identical immune cells derived from a single parent cell. These antibodies are used to target specific diseases. As for biotechnology in regenerative medicine, tissue engineering combines scaffolds, cells, and growth factors to create new tissues. Using biotechnology, cells from a patient's skin can be cultured and expanded in the lab. These cells are then seeded into the biodegradable scaffold that provides structure for the new tissue. Then we have biotechnology in genetic testing. Polymerase chain reaction or PCR is a biotechnological method used to amplify specific DNA segments. PCR involves repeating heating and cooling cycles on the DNA sample with the additional or specific enzymes and Primers. This results in the exponential amplification of the target DNA segment. For example, it's used in prenatal genetic testing to detect genetic anomalies like Down syndrome. Then lastly, we have biotechnology in genetic testing. Next generation sequencing allows rapid sequencing of large segments of DNA or entire genomes. Next generation sequencing involves fragmenting DNA, attaching adapters, and sequencing these fragments in parallel, significantly speeding up the sequence process. Next generation sequencing is used in comprehensive genetic screening to identify risk factors for various diseases such as cancer by analyzing multiple genes simultaneously. It's also used in personalized medicine to tailor treatment based on individuals' genetic profiles. Then and lastly, we move on to the future of biotechnology in medicine. The future of biotechnology in medicine holds immense promise and is likely to bring about revolutionary advancements in several key areas. Starting with precision medication, biotechnology is paving the way for precision medicine where treatments are tailored to an individual's genetic makeup and unique health characteristics. This personalized approach will result in more effective treatments with fewer side effects. Then we have gene editing. Technologies like CRISPR-Cas9 have the potential to correct genetic mutations that cause hereditary diseases. This opens the door to curing previously untreatable genetic disorders. We also have advanced therapies. Biotechnology will continue to drive the development of advanced 
therapies such as gene therapies, cell therapies, and tissue engineering. These therapies can repair or replace damaged tissues, organs, offering hope to patients with conditions like spinal cord injuries, heart disease, and diabetes. Lastly, Drug discovery and development. Biotechnology tools like high thoroughly put screening and artificial intelligence are accelerating drug discovery, making it faster and more cost effective. This will result in a broader range of treatment options for various diseases. In conclusion, the realm of biotechnology in medicine is not just a glimpse into the future. It's a pathway to a healthier, more personalized and effective healthcare landscape. From the powerful precision of genetic testing to the remarkable potential of gene editing and regenerative medicine, biotechnology is rewriting the rules of medicine. Now, if you found this video interesting, hit the like button, subscribe for more science-based videos and until next time, stay enthusiastic.